Sun TV. We are tired of seeing the dead bodies of innocent men, women, and children. We are tired of seeing the severed limbs. We are tired of seeing little children shivering, shaking, crying, and with injuries that will be like wrong. We are tired of seeing buildings crumble because of the Zionist carpet bombings. Free, free Palestine. Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Next we have Rabbi David Feldman from MK. Thank you. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. In our thousands, in our millions, we are all Palestinians. In our thousands, in our millions, we are all we are a religious Jewish people, amongst others, from all different backgrounds here in Union City, New Jersey. We are concerned, we are pained, we are seeing the news. We are witnessing over 100 days of this brutal genocide where masses of innocent men, women and children are being mass murdered. This is unacceptable, and this has to stop today. We are Jewish people, mainly descendants of Holocaust survivors. We know what suffering is. We know what pain is. We are seeing these images on this truck. We see these images on the feeds of our social media. And this reminds us the stories our grandparents told us to what happened to the Jewish people. We as Jewish people know what suffering is and we do not want to see this happen to anyone. Yeah. Especially, sadly, embarrassingly, when all of this is being done supposedly in our name. This troubles us even more than anyone else because we don't want to see this happen to others, especially not in our name. On top of all, when all of this is being done, our religion, the Jewish religion, is being misused to justify these crimes. This is a true desecration of God's name. And we say, we say no, this is not the Jewish people, and this is not the Jewish religion. According to Judaism, all of this is wrong. All of this is forbidden. All of this is criminal. According to basics of Jewish belief, the concept of Zionism, the very existence of the state of Israel, is contrary to basics of Jewish belief. Especially when this is killing, stealing, oppressing an entire people. Which people? That beautiful people that respected and protected the Jewish people for hundreds of years. This is unacceptable. Shame. We have to remember the great difference between Judaism and Zionism. Judaism is a religion, a religion only. No politics to it. God forbid no crimes. Versus this movement of Zionism, which is a purely political movement, unfortunately committing each and every crime against the indigenous population of Palestine. We appreciate these slides on this truck clarifying this distinction between Judaism and Zionism. This is beautiful. This just shows the true image of Palestine. Palestine never had a problem with Jews, neither with the Jewish religion. The pro-Palestinian movement today is very clear in their respect to the Jewish people. And they do oppose occupation, which should be opposed and should be condemned and should stop, not today, but long ago. We declare that the state of Israel in no way represents all Jews. We have masses of Jewish people in New Jersey, in New York, many other states in the United States, in the world over, including in occupied Palestine, who are in total opposition to all what Israel stands for and all these crimes committed to the Palestinian people. We condemn this genocide. 
Now, already for these months in Gaza, we oppose the entire occupation of Palestine and we demand a total freedom to the indigenous population of Palestine. All rights should be restored to all indigenous people of Palestine. They should be granted the full right of return. And what will happen then? That's not going to be the danger of the Jewish people. That's not going to be the catastrophe for the Jewish people. That would be justice for the Palestinian people who deserve freedom. And that will be the safety and security for the Jews. Jewish people lived in peace in Palestine. And they deserve, as all indigenous people of Palestine deserve peace and freedom. We should be able to see once again that beautiful peace that existed. But in order to be able to see that, we have to have this entire occupation stopped in order to be able to see that peace that did exist. We have to realize what is the root cause to what is going on in order to be able to figure out how the future can be achieved. It is not the difference of religions which is causing this bloody conflict and this unfortunate endless river of bloodshed where everybody suffers. We had differences of religions for the, last, for the longest time before the invention of Zionism over a hundred years ago. And we lived in peace. It is the brutal, illegal and anti-Jewish occupation of Palestine which is unfortunately destroying us all. For the sake of everyone involved, we have to stop this occupation today. And hopefully, God willing, inshallah, we'll be able to see that beautiful peace in the future. Let's hope all humanity will be able to enjoy freedom, safety, and security, and serve Almighty God in peace. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> 